is the end of the month. It is March 31st. So it's time for an end of the month flip through of the planners. Well, some of them anyway. I don't do them all on, you know, camera because there's TNs and all that kind of stuff. So I do the mainly do the ones that I get to take stuff out of. Happy planners and my ring binders. Yep, yeah, that's it. So that's what we're going to do today. Not that there was a whole lot going on last week, but or last month, but that's what we're going to do today. So how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. It is Melissa. And I am hoping you guys are finding fun things to do and I'm knocking you all over the place I apologize I keep trying to find the perfect camera angle and it's not working I want to film directly over and sometimes when I do that it works but then sometimes like the last video I did where I was filming right over it it flipped it sideways and I couldn't unflip it for some reason <sighs> but anyway as I was saying I hope you guys are finding things to you know, keep your minds busy and, and stay focused on positive stuff and not go stir crazy while you're in your house doing nothing but watching TV. Well, hopefully you're doing more than that. My youngest daughter, she's like, I'm going to get puzzles. I'm like, hey, <laughs> get some puzzles. Puzzles are a great way to, you know, just, you know, de-stress and, and, you know, get your mind off everything around you and just focus on the task at hand. It's perfect. That's why... I do planners because I'm really, really bad at puzzles. Mm. Pardon my sippy sounds, but that was good. That was coffee. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's get this party started. We will start with, and yes, I have two mini planners. Let's see, one, two, and I'm herping. Let's see, let's put some of this over to the side so I have a little room. Uh, there we go. Okay, move that out of the way. Move that out of the way. All right. So this is the one that if I take one with me, oops, I lost one of my fake fingernails. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm doing my own nails. They're, they're they pop off very easily because they're not acrylic. They're just press-ons. But since I have no other choice, what else am I gonna do? Yeah, that's that's my story. Okay. So anyway, this is. Uh, one that I, when I go somewhere, if I take a big enough purse and I want to take a planner, this is one of the ones that I will take with me. I do have a couple others that are small too that I take. The little TNs. I love taking those with me. Um, but this is the happy planner that I would take with me. Because it's, I keep it kind of thin, you know. So, we are going to be taking out March today. March was some, you know, uh, yeah, uneventful. That got canceled, you know. This was one of the day I did, had my back surgery. And I was supposed to have a follow-up appointment, but they had to do it by phone because of Corona. Yeah. <laughs> so, this one, I had one appointment on that week and did some uh, grocery uh, foraging because, you know, it's kind of like a war zone out there now when you go grocery shopping. This just has a lot of little stuff that I wanted to do, tried to get done, um, you know, and some of it worked out. Some of it did not. I had planned on going to get my nails done right before they declared the national emergency. Yeah, that didn't happen. And then my nails popped off because it had been so long. And ladies, I've had nails, acrylic nails since, oh gosh, my oldest daughter is 25 and I started getting them done when she was four. So for 21 years, I have not seen my own nails and I saw them and it wasn't pretty. Um, yeah, I don't think much of anything happened that week. I just love decorating. I think that's the biggest reason I have multiple planners, not because my life is so glamorous and, you know, woohoo and so much to do. Yeah, no, pretty much I sit on my, you know, Watusi all day long, but this is fun. This is like keeping scrapbooks of just you know, hoard tons and tons of stickers and make things pretty. This is, this is relaxing. And you guys know what I'm talking about. If you're planner girls, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Some of us have things to plan. Some of us don't. I plan doctor's appointments and things like that when I need to go to the post office, stuff like that. But that's about it. So we're saying goodbye to March. Yes, we are. Bye-bye, March. 
I hate, I make such, I love my layout so much. It's, it's kind of sad when I have to say goodbye to them. But, you know, I might, someone asked me one time, did I keep them? I normally don't, but I may start kind of like a, just a scrapbook of my pretty planner layouts. Maybe. We'll see. It's not like I have a lot of room right now. Okay, and this is my so, so beautiful one. I love this cover. This is out of their, um, was out of their new spring collection. And, oh, just beautiful. My favorite. I will probably, unless they outdo themselves, use this, this as my main mini planner cover for a very long time. So, my girls can. It also came with this. Makes the most beautiful... It's not that beautiful. Oh, I know I've showed, shown you guys this before. And it's a homebody um, thing inside. So I just kept those in because they're so pretty. So pretty. My planner's on the fritz, guys. You guys need to pray over my planner because I haven't had uh, my planner. Excuse me. My printer. You know I print tons of stuff. And make all kinds of things. And... I do work it, but I've only had this one a few months, so it should not be dead. It wasn't a cheap one. It's got one of the gears, I think, it's, it's sticking, and so every time a piece of paper comes through, it just on that one side creases and rips the paper. Makes it non-usable. Okay, so let me get to where I want to get to. All right, we're once again in March, and... Same things. I kept a little bit more track of things in this one. Not everything, but some. This one is the dashboard layout. So you get your week on this side and your plan ahead part on this side. So that's it's pretty cool. It makes it a little bit harder to decorate, but it's still, it's a, you know, I'm enjoying it. I actually like it. You can actually get this in the classic size planner as well. This layout, you have to look for them. So, see, I actually went in and documented some stuff in this one. Like, um, sometimes when I, I have prayers in it, um, I will document um, sometimes if I'm having a bad pain day from the Mr. Fibro, my algae. Sometimes I would document that. Uh, medications that I'm on and how I'm using them. Of course, bills, things like that. I write um, Bible verses in some places. I love that one. Didn't have a lot going on. I had a little bit going on. Um, not a ton. So is that the last? Did I do the last one? Yeah. That's 29. So the 31 will go into the next one. This will be the April plan ahead. So we will take just these out. And yeah, we take that out too. Okay, so we have to keep that. And then I've already started a little bit, as you guys can see, and you know me, I probably will. It's just, especially now, get bored. Let's have a million planners so we can plan over and over and over and over and over again. One thing I have learned is to try and the important, uh, important appointments things, try and keep them in every single planner so that whatever planner I'm looking at that day, the appointments are in there okay number three carpe diem personal size planner blush color new stickers that i'm going to be using in there and here is there is march i didn't write much in there as you can see i didn't document near as much in this one as i did the happy planners but I did a little. I also did not decorate up as crazy. But I love this one, but it just it just doesn't it's not the first one I go to when I um am pulling things out to, to write in, so that's the only reason it's as small as this is. Otherwise, you know I love my carpe diems. I've got a million and a half and growing. So Let's take March out. And some of these I will save because um, 
these are agenda 51 inserts and as you can see so you can keep those year round because you don't have to write on the back of them like some uh, planners make you do but yeah so I will keep that that will go in a stash and then get my bookmarks out of here okay and that goes over to the side we will figure that out shortly so there is the beginning of April a little bit decorated already okay sweat her set her sweet little pretty self over to the side and now we get to the bigger ones Kiki K love Kiki K real leather and I always seem to catch on my they always have some on sale so this one regular $79 I think and that's with inserts but it and like I said it's also real leather and I got it on sale for 37 so perfect for spring and summertime because of the beautiful color and I'm trying to make sure you guys can see everything these are my pretty little decorations. This is my little bow from, um, I bought a used kit off Macari of Planner Society stuff. Came with two of these. Came with all kinds of little, um, die cuts that I put in there. These I got from Michaels. These I think were, ooh, I don't want to miss, I think it was Hobby Lobby that all these little ones came from. These are just little girl bows that I buy at Walmart and then glue them onto, uh, paper clips. Make pretty little bows. Another little bow right there. And then I got all kinds of cute little thingies in there. Stuff from the Planner Society. Things that I printed off and made. And then of course my dashboard with my name on it. I make several of those. I've made that. See, like I said, I print 